a witch who dwelled in Ainsbury. With brilliant eye and salty tongue, she worked her sorcery. And when into the judge's court the sheriff brought her hither, the lilacs drooped as she passed by, and then were seen to wither. A witch she was, though Treganeed, her comely head held high. It did not seem that one as she with Satan so could buy. And when in court the afflicted ones proclaimed her evil ways, she loudly laughed and boldly met Cotton Mither's eyes. Who has bewitched these mates? He asked, and strong was her reply. If they'd be dealing in black heart, you know as well as I. And when the stricken ones made moan as she approached near, they saw a shape upon the beam, so none could doubt was there. The neighbors round saw to the truth of her satanic power, that she could fly along downstream and come dry shot through shower. At night it seemed that she appeared a cat of fearsome mien. A voice, you devil, they had cried to keep their spirits clean. Was weighed and stern the parson spoke. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live, tis written in the book. Susanna Martin, so accused, spoke with flaming eyes. I scorn these things, for they are not but filthy gossip lies. Now those bewitched, they cried around, and loud their voice they bring. They saw a bird above her head, an evil yellow thing. And so beneath the summer sky, Susanna Martin died. But still in scorn she faced the road, her comely head held high.